What's up guys welcome back to half men of tech so today just after two days since seeing ios 14.3 being released we now have a new update and as you can see it's ios 14.4 and this is developer beta 1 at the time i'm recording this video this update is only available to developer beta testers so if you're a public beta tester this is something that you could be seeing at the time you watch this video or on a later date now this is not all that apple released today there were quite a number of updates that came out today this is the apple developer website that you are seeing here and as you can see some of the operating system updates that came out you can see that we have mac os pixel 11.2 beta 1 it came out today we also have have ipad os 14.4 it came out today and watch os 7.3 beta 1 it came out today and tv os 14.4 all these updates that you see here came out today and i'm going to be covering most of these uh, updates on the channel so if you haven't subscribed a sub will be great now this is how it came in for me on my iphone so the update size as you can see for me was quite large it came at 4.05 gigs and i'm actually updating from ios 14.3 the official version so this is the average update size that you're going to see something between three and a half gigs to four and a half gigs and now if we go to see the software changes that came with this update if we go into the settings and then go to general right here and go to the about this iphone section you can see the software version ios 14.4 this build number has an e at the end and then if we go down just to see the modem firmware that we have here you can see that it's the same as what we had previously and it's 4.02.00 so then if we go to see how much this update is taking so it came in at over four gigs but let's see how much system is taking up so if we go there and then scroll all the way down to see how much this software system is taking up so as you can see it's increased a little bit before it was taking 7.8 gigs and now it's taking up 8.08 .08 gigs so those are the software changes that came with this update and if you're updating on your device mine is an iphone x that you see here so those are the changes that you see when it comes to uh, software changes now when it comes to the new features and changes that came with this update there isn't much that changed in fact if we go into the website and go to the ios 14.4 beta and go to the release notes here there isn't much that apple said you can see that they mentioned about app clips and resolved in ios and ipad os 14.4 beta in addition to using code scanners you can now launch a local experience via camera nfc safari smart app banner or iMessage so it's listed as a resolved issue meaning to say that on the previous version of iOS 14.3 there was an issue with NFC or app clips now with this update in fact also with the previous update Apple actually added NFC tags and also the ability to scan for app clips so if you go to your control center and you have turned on NFC tag this is how you access it so you just click it in your control center and then if you bring your phone close to an NFC tag it will actually perform a specific function depending on what that tag does and then this is the code scanner so this is how it's going to look like and if you click there and you have a code that you can scan you can actually scan it and if it's a valid code your phone will be able to do a specific function that is allowed by that app clip or code now before actually there's an interesting thing that i would like to show you if we go back into the settings and then go where it says control center here you can see that this code reader is actually now renamed as code scanner so before it was called qr code reader and as you can see here it's been renamed to code scanner so that's one of the changes that came with this update and also this doesn't have anything much to do with this update but if you go to the app store and then search for a specific application you now have the privacy information let's look for an interesting app like facebook because i know it's very interesting when it comes to privacy so if you 
click on the app and then you go to the description section of the app like this you can see the app privacy practices of that certain application and in this case since we are under facebook this is the privacy practice of facebook so you can see data used to track you and then you can also see data linked to you so there's a lot there and then if you actually click here you actually be able to go under everything so you see that they actually take your user id device id your address your email your phone number there's a lot you know we can scroll down until our battery is flat so facebook takes a lot but this is not just you know for facebook only there's a lot of applications that collect a lot of information and this is something that you can always check out in the new app store that has been updated and i actually have a facebook update so i, I could probably do that but anyways those are the changes that came with this update and now let's talk about the issues that are still existing with this update and the first one has to do with dual sim 5g which is not working so if you are using the dual dual sim eSIM on the iPhone 12 the 5G is not working with the previous update and with this one it actually hasn't yet been fixed and also with the iPhone 12 there's a green tint issue that some users are reporting since this is not an iPhone 12 it's not something that I can show you but few people have reported that they are experiencing or seeing some green tint whenever their display is dimmed and also something else that has been uh, reported has to do with the new AirPods Max sometimes when they connect or bring their airpods max close to their device it shows the wrong color or wrong animation and that is a bug that is there with this update now when it comes to device performance i did run geekbench scores and also let's see how applications open you can see that settings opens quite quick let's try the camera app and then snap a few pics so the first pic was a bit slow but as you can see it's snapping pictures quite quick and also when it comes to geekbench scores i did run geekbench 5 just to see how this ios 14.0 4 beta 1 is performing compared to what our had before so let's go to the cpu just to see let's go to the history here and then go to the cpu section just to see what we had so you can see the score that i had on this ios 14.4 and it's actually for single core 919 and for multi core i had 2196 if we compare this to what i had on the previous version you can see that it's actually almost the same so performance wise i wouldn't really say that it's better or worse it just looks more or less the same but on multi-core it falls short a little bit so just slightly less but this is not something that you're going to notice and for gpu performance i did run this and this is the score that i had on 14.4 38 37 and previously i had 38 87 so almost the same again the difference is very minor and now let's look at the battery performance that i'm getting on my iphone if you go to the battery section of our iphone here and go to the battery health 85 before it was on 85 so no change there and then if we go to the last 10 days here you can see the screen on time that i've been getting on ios 14.3 so you can see that i'm actually getting about seven to eight hours using over a hundred percent of charge so it hasn't been the best when it comes to battery performance for me so that is how my screen on time looks now whether you should update or not to this update i really think that this is not an update to rush for because well first we saw the build number that it has an e at the end and e when it comes to stability is not the best so beware of this build number and also just looking at the time that this update was released it came two days after seeing ios 14.3 so it could take some time before we see more betas and also before this update is released officially and from what apple usually does they usually take the last two weeks of december off so we might actually not see another update and if we are to see another update it could be coming perhaps in the first week or second week of january so that's just my rough prediction other than that this is how this update came in for me if you like this video please leave a like and if you haven't subscribed a sub would be great stay safe and i will definitely see you in the next video very soon peace